Welcome to the Office Connector import training series. In this installment, we'll be demonstrating how to take an existing Excel spreadsheet and import the information into Sage 300. We will be using an example spreadsheet which contains depreciation values that need to be imported into the general ledger. We'll start by reviewing the worksheet. You'll notice that we have some fixed records in cells B4 through B6 mainly the company ID, accounting date, and journal. Since those records will be used throughout the import process, we're going to assign each of them a name, which will allow us to reference the data later without having to remember the cell position. To do so, we'll simply click the cell we want to name, move up to the name box in the upper left-hand corner of Excel. Notice the default designation is cell location. To change it, we simply click in the name box and assign the new name. We'll call the first one company ID, and then we can repeat the process for the accounting date and again for the journal ID. Since the rest of the information covers multiple rows, we'll go ahead and use cell references for the rest. General Ledger will be looking for the company ID and the account number to be in one field, separated by a hyphen. To get that data concatenated, we'll simply enter an Excel formula in cell G9 that says company ID N hyphen and A9. Once that formula has been entered, we can go ahead and just copy it down to the rest of the rows. Now that our data is ready to go, we can then use the Office Connector Import Wizard, which is located under the Add Ends tab in Excel, and we'll use the Import Wizard icon to launch. The first window that appears is going to ask us for our type of import. Since this is a GL transaction import file, that's the type we'll select. Next we have the columns that we want to import information. We're going to go ahead and select everything except for accrual or cash as they are not necessary in this exercise. After we click next again, we now get the option to where we can create an entry grid, which we did previously, or this time we'll go ahead and link our selected columns to cells that are in the worksheet. And now we have our TS import function formula ready to go for row 9, and we can go ahead and copy that formula down to the other rows like any other Excel formula. This worksheet's now ready to be saved to an import file for Sage, but there are a few tips that could be used to protect the worksheet so that it could be repeatedly used by others. For instance, we could create a table using the existing range of data, including columns G and H. The advantage of that process is that when additional rows of information are entered, the TS import function will automatically copy down with the new rows. Also, we could hide columns G and H to prevent them from being changed by someone else. The last tip would be to add a data validation list using Office Connector Query to ensure the data entered is valid. Now that our TS import function is ready and our data has been validated, we can save the import file using the Save Import File icon located in the Office Connector Import toolbar under Add-ins. The first screen is going to prompt us for the save location of the import file as well as the actions taken after the import file is saved. We're going to go ahead and leave it to save to my documents. And then we'll pick the sample company for Timberline Construction and go ahead and sign into the company since security is enabled. Now we want to make sure we select the import file that we just created. And here we can also choose where our report for the import will print. We're going to go ahead and print this to a file so we can view it on the screen at a later time. After clicking Start, 
we'll get a progress window that tells us once the import has completed. Now that that's done, we can go into Sage and verify the printout report to see the transactions that have been imported. And there we have our report. Thank you for watching this example. We hope it proves useful to you in the future. Thank you.